Well, this is today's uh, today's artist. How you doing? I'm doing good, dear. <laughs> Pretty wild, huh, guys? Yes. Then we're gonna go to work and make some of these masks. <laughs> My name is Rocky Mateen. I'm the vocational service manager at Chatham Trades. My position is sort of like case management. I work over the the CAP program. Then on Tuesdays we come here. I started a year ago with. 12 uh, participants, and we've grown to about 75 now. I want that time. Carol wants this one. This one? Our one year anniversary is in March, and that's what these masks are for our party. Everybody's gonna make a mask for their, for, to celebrate the uh, party. We'll do yeah, this we'll orange up here. Get it. You got to run and the blue down there at the that. bottom. A little blue. What about some lips? You want to put some lips <laughs> Oh, on? yeah. How about some blue lips? <laughs> okay. I started working with art and people with disabilities in 2002, so I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I think you better get a bunch, Rocky. Okay. I think they're all going to want some. So we met Polly. She came to a meeting at Chatham Trades with one of our participants and I was telling her about the artwork we've been doing and so I guess it was you know stuck with Polly so she sent me an email trying to get an inclusive arts initiative started in uh, Siler City. We started emailing each other Roger and I set up a meeting February 2010 and we just decided on that day to uh, start the workshops for the guys so it was just a, a catalyst from Polly Metlicott that got this all started. Where you want to go next? To the eyes, I'm gonna have to get that off the brush. I met Roger a long time ago, but never knew he was interested in uh, working with our groups. How about another color? Um, Think about it. This this particular piece we were doing self portraits. I sketched an outline of a head on here for my friend Marty. And uh, as you've seen with the, the other portraits, and, and uh, showed them kind of where the eyes went, and then everybody went from there and did their own work. Now, Marty, I come up after Marty's working, finished working with his, and I went, wow, uh, Marty uh, loves guitars. And apparently, Marty sees himself as a guitar. These are the frets of the guitar, these are the strings, and this is the music. It's really fun just to get them started on a, um, with some kind of an idea or an image and uh, they, when they go from there and it's, it's how they see it. And uh, as you can see, they're, they're all really, really different and uh, it brings out their own, to me, their own personalities and how they view things. Hey, you could have made them all that dead. Most of the guys that come to the Inclusive Arts Initiative are from Chatham Trades. I was first introduced to a group of people who had autism in 2002. I was also an art major at Western Carolina at the same time, and it gave me a chance to combine my two loves, you know, working with people with disabilities and my art. The first art project I worked on was with a guy who was nonverbal, had limited motors, motor skills. So I took a cardboard box, laid paper in it, paint and marbles, and he kind of like shook it around. And so that was the first project. I saw how much joy he got out of that and I wanted to expand more. It wasn't a want or a need. It was just, I had to do this. I just had to, I had to find it again. This is mine right here. The glasses are supposed to be black, but they're, they're gray. It's me. I like the part of me. I think I love doing that. One of the more interesting ones, this particular painting right here. I find really, man, that could be, you, could, you could put that in any gallery, anywhere. 
That is outsider art at its best. That's actually what all of this is, is uh, you know, uh, art by untrained artists. This is her. Yeah, and she's got hearts. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, right, right. <laughs> this is my uh, art dog. Uh, art. <laughs> I like your background. Tell me what colors you want. I've already got some of them out. Okay. Orange, pink, and yellow. Okay, that's what I'll use. The Wingnut Gallery is our place now. Roger and Lindo are so gracious to have it remodeled and uh, they're adding the handicapped accessibility to it. But I think it's important for the guys to have their own place and, and that's what we have now, the Wingnut. And dance moves, I was like, wow.